Hooray for Hollywood. Toga. Toga. Oh, hello there. I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is my review of The Disappointments Room. It stars Kate Beckinsale, Mel Rido, or Rado, I'm not exactly sure, uh, Lucas Till, Duncan Joyner, and more. It is the story of a uh, young family that moves out of the big city into a isolated house near a small town. It is, uh, this, this family is uh, recovering from a tragedy and the belief is that perhaps uh, a new start in a new house will make transitioning out of the grief of this event easier to deal with. Uh, seems like a bad idea, and the film shows us, yes, yes, it is a bad idea. Um, Kate Beckinsale is uh, Dana, the mother of the, uh, of the group, and she uh, is an architect. And her plan is to oversee and do most of the work of the renovation of the house herself. Her husband, David, played by Mel Rado, uh, I have no clue what he does. Uh, apparently, he owned a business and sold it once this tragedy occurred, and uh, they plan. And he's uh, uh, apparently fairly wealthy because of this. I don't know. They don't tell us a lot about this. They have a young son named Lucas, played by Duncan Joyner. Uh, once they move into this big old creepy house, um, Dana begins to experience strange and vivid dreams. Um, and notices a room uh, in the attic that uh, is not on the floor plan. Um, she can't find a key to the door to this room, except um, she finally does and opens it and really strange things begin to happen. Uh, the question is, is Dana, who is not taking her medication, um, experiencing hallucinations caused by not taking her medication uh, that was required from the events that occurred prior to the film starting? Or are the spirits uh, messing with her? Or are the spirits making her have these hallucinations uh, in an effort to make her do very bad things? Uh, the Disappointments Room, and it would be very lazy of me to say it's a disappointment uh, in that I was in a room when I watched the movie. But it's not great. Um, there are some interesting ideas. Uh, the whole, is she hallucinating? Is she this, the victim of uh, these ghosts? Um, you know, that that at times is, is an interesting um, uh, idea and a thread to follow through the movie. However, the movie's pacing is leaden. It takes forever for anything to happen. Um, Dana in the story, played by Kate Beckinsale, is obviously troubled um, because of, of this tragedy that befell them. Um, and that makes me lean toward the idea that she's hallucinating all this stuff. But the movie leaves that very much up in the air, so much so it becomes annoying. When you think it's definitely one thing, you're led to a different conclusion. Also, these people do uh, the stupidest things in regards to being in an old creepy house. Things that I've harped on over and over again in other reviews of horror movies or thriller suspense movies. Um, the Disappointments Room is kind of like if Scream had a baby with Scary Movie 5. Um, it uses all of the uh, cliche things of the haunted house uh, or horror movie genre, uh, and it isn't funny. So, um, it has some good moments, but it is, certainly isn't enough to make it uh, something I would recommend seeing and it is, um, it is kind of dull through most of it, except for some very short bursts of weirdness that occur. Uh, I am giving The Disappointments Room two stars. 
Go to Stan the Movie Man to read my complete review, and you can follow me on Twitter, at Movie Man Stan. And if you have any questions or comments you'd like to send to me in an email, you can do so at StanTheMovieMan at Comcast.net. Till next time, toodles.